In this video clip today we will see the charitable trust and also specifically for the relief of poverty. What is known as poverty? How to define the poverty? That's very difficult matter. The different things to different people means sometimes you can say some people well off are well off but they are they feel that they are poor. Then poverty does not mean that destitution. Nothing. I don't have anything else. Then only you can say this is poor. No, that's wrong definition. The relief of poor must not be relieved to the body of private individuals, but must have public credit. Suppose I created trust for the benefit of my poor relatives, that can't be a charitable trust. That's a private trust. Relief of group of individuals like poor relations of the author of the trust or donor or poor employees of a company would not amount to the charitable trust. That was the earlier decision. Now we will see another very important and very well-known case. The case of Oppenheim versus Tobacco Securities Trust Company Limited, 1951 case, English case. First of all, we see the facts of the case. The trustees were directed to apply the certain income in providing for education of children of employees or former employees of a British limited company. The number of employees or number of eligible employees were, was over 110,000. The big size. Still the court held that the trust was not charitable. The nexus the employees did not satisfy the test of public benefit to establish the trust as a charitable trust. Then there is a connection, there is a re relationship in between the author of the trust and the beneficiary. Then they, that can't be a charitable trust. This is in relation to education. But wh what I am here talking about, relief of poverty. Later on, the court applied different views. In the sense, the relief of poverty is an exception to the general rule. General rule is it should be for the public, but here this is something different. In the case of Dingle versus Turner, the trust was created for the benefit of poor employees of the Dingle Company Limited. Earlier one is for education, the open name case. This is for poor relatives or poor employees of Dingle Company Limited. The class was identified by personal nexus. What we have seen in the open name, if there is a personal nexus, then there is no trust. But here, what we the court held that poverty was an exception and the, and the trust for poor persons who are identified by personal nexus does not lack, lack the public benefit. Then if there is a trust, even in, within the relationship employees, employer or former employer and present employees, in that case there is no such thing, it does not lack the public benefit, then it is for the public benefit. Then, then here, the difference between charitable and private trust in relation to the relief of poverty is that poor people in a particular description is a charitable trust. The particular description must be given, but the gift for the particular persons is a private trust. If you define or if you name the persons, one, two, three or A, B, C, then it is private trust. If you define the group of people or the description, 
by employment or whatever even though in the in the promotion of uh, education that we have seen that is not charitable trust in the case of uh, relief of poverty that should be charitable trust thank you for watching this one now we will further we will see any other other videos the advancement of education thank you